to the meeting. <laughs> did you guys see that cool card? I did the card on the 10 minute makeover and I shared it with you. Oh, yeah. I that, thought that was awesome. That was awesome. What a good job. Then take Very one good. to create. Now I have to do one on skincare and then I want to do one when I do the, um, uh, what is that thing? The apple core peel. I want to do one with that too. Ooh. I'm going to implement some other things for the kitchen, but that's going to be the video. So I figured that'd be fun. Where did you upload the card to? It's on a shuffle group. I can show it to you guys too, if you want to see it. Oh What's yeah, why don't you do you that? Said okay. That you're going to do an apple core? The, oh no, the, no, the pineapple. pineapple. Did I say apple? Yeah. Yeah, the pineapple, the pineapple core. You know, okay. there's a pine in front that of that. thing's fun. <laughs> That makes a good video. Right, I'll too. share it for you guys. I'll show you because she's she hasn't pulled in her driveway yet. If I have to go suddenly, it's because the mom showed. So I'll we'll have to. Yeah, the two mamas coming. She's coming. <laughs> you mamas coming. She's on and her I'll way. Find, I'll find an excuse to share screen after that. <laughs> I know you. Oh my God, is I love sharing screen. It's so much done when we can share the it's screen. It's funner. Right? It's yeah, funner than just it. sitting there. Yay. All right. So it's coming. It's still spinning. It's thinking about it. Keep blowing bubbles now. Tell it to open up. What's it doing? Good grief. I don't know if I'd want to go back to diapers, really, though. So <laughs> she's you're, a, you're she's such a good baby. She eats. I lay her down in her little nappy, and then she just lays there and falls asleep. Oh, see, plays, that's awesome. But I still plays, don't think rolls there's a lot around. Of good she does well. Diapers and is... Oh, here it comes. Maybe it's going to open now. Good Lord. I didn't think it's ever going to open. All right. Here it is. Preview. This is my card. So I made it with a picture. I tried to just get a picture of just my face done. So it wasn't like a man-made picture. And it's just like all the stuff that I had on and the prices in those cat in the catalog prices so they could see how much it costs. My two links. I want to shop the entire brochure or join Avon and then all the, all the products with quick link right oh, to cool. buy them. So I quick linked all the products that I went over that I applied and then oh. I have the video down here. So like it literally starts out you probably won't be able to hear it. Can you hear it? Oh, you even got on the Avon shirt. I did. That's and great. I do a quick video. That's how to very apply. Cool. Here we go. Now that's awesome. Literally nine minutes and six seconds, and that's me still chatting at the end. So, yep. Make a bit, of, and then I just shared it out, which was really nice. Nice, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do one with skincare and show how to do a quick skincare routine, and then um, I just upload it to YouTube and then put it on the card because that's the easiest. Nice. I think that's awesome because a lot of customers want the whole everything that you did when they see you do something like that. Right. They want or to maybe they're just out of eyeshadow, right? They're watching it and they go, oh my God, I love that eyeshadow. I'm thinking, you know, let me just get that. It takes them right to the link. So it's perfect. You had to add the shirt. You're wearing the shirt. With I you. thought about that afterwards as I had and the earrings. I had those earrings in too. Ooh. So Yeah, what if I oh I've got on one we're selling right now too. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I like that one. Oh, yes, pretty. I um, almost got it. You're broke again, huh? Or oh, full again? Oh. So even if you don't want to do like a whole video, you can take a picture of yourself with the jewelry and the makeup done, and then put everything no. up with well, the that's links. That's a good idea. And then maybe go find a you know like one of the like we show you how to go find a video on one of the products that are already on the YouTube from you know. Mm -hmm. From Avon I think or mine, you know, I mean, if you want to do them and show mine, you can show mine. I think you could do it for other categories too, and it wouldn't necessarily have to be beauty categories because right. you could do a clean in one or like you said, the pineapple one. Yeah, we're going to do one for hemp works. Cooking, cooking and clean up one. Yep. Yeah, one for hemp works, so it wouldn't have to necessarily be Avon even. Whatever Which, you I'm, I'm really enjoying my uh, CPD gummy. Good. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Twice a day, once in the morning, one at night. That's <laughs> what I'm the doing. Mask, the mask would make a good one, and both um, Avon and Hepwork sell that mask. So yeah. either one of those, yeah. But any, yeah, and a lot of these companies have products that are nice to show. Yes. Uh, yeah. I have the Hempworks mask on 
order. Well, I haven't ordered it yet. It's in my cart oh, um, to try it. So do you like, do you like it? I, I, I got them and I didn't use one yet. Oh, okay. Cause you got to take the time to sit there and let it do it. But I, it. the reason I think I'm going to love it is because I love revive. And I mm -hmm. need the extra. That would be awesome to have. The and it has the extra lotion in it, just like Avon's did, if you ever use them, where you can just rub, rub it down your neck, rub them on your arms, and, you know, put it, put it between the girls, you know, keep them looking young and fresh, because we all know, right? And um, my one girlfriend, she's like, she's swearing that her hands and her boobies are looking much younger these days. Oh, <laughs> well, I want younger boobies. They're not poor. Right? Well, revive is supposed to be for nighttime, though, right? I use it on both, so you know how I am for for following the rules. You don't follow. I'm just wondering because a girlfriend of mine <laughs> ordered it, and um, she swears to buy it using in the morning. And then I got it in for her, and I looked at it, I'm like, oh, I wonder if she knows this is nighttime. I use it in the morning. Okay, okay. I'm happy with it. I don't necessarily think uh, sometimes what they suggest you use it for, not just Hempers, any company, yeah. because they want to sell you another one for night or they want to sell you another one for morning. It's not necessarily because it's only yeah. good in the morning. Right. So, okay. But I've, I've used it all this time in the morning, Revive, and really like it. I'm surprised. Yeah. And you know what I'm using at night is an Avon one. I use the... Um, Oh, not not Cucina, although I love saying that. Huh? <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Any Tika. chance I can, I can uh, say a word that sounds like Cucci, but um, no. Uh, <laughs> it's the, what's the other one? Oh. Um, Sika. Sika, there we go. The Sika, the Dr. Belmere Sika cream. Yeah. That's, oh, that's that. helped. Oh, I think I'm actually a lot better. For a while there, I was so broke out all the time, and I think I'm actually quite a bit better. I don't have makeup on today, and it's not bad. You know, but for uh, since since the whole menopause thing, my face just went. Let's just go ahead and do that. So it, it's been a fight to try to find stuff. And those two things, uh, the Sika one at night and um, the uh, Revive in the morning. That's that's worked for me. So, but we can talk about Cucina again because I want to say Cucci. <laughs> revive is a hip work. Is Revive a hip work? Yes, yeah, yeah. Revive is a hemp worth. And matter of fact, that's the only time I've seen a company. This is hysterical. Um, they doubled the size of their bottle and doubled yeah. the strength of the stuff in it for the same, same price. price. Yeah. That's hmm. what they, they did at the last convention. Now, whoever does awesome. that, you know, <laughs> I never see companies like they might like increase the size of the bottle, but and not increase the, the price, price double, yeah. but still. The same price with double the uh, strength of the ingredients and double the amount. So that was oh, kind of cool. I'm going to have to have some of that. Yeah, I had to put that on a card, right? <laughs> on a yeah. shuffle card. Just, yeah, just that. But um, I think I want to do another one. I did one for um, the safety products, the Avon safety products. So the mask, the gloves, the stuff people were asking me for that they didn't realize we had at Avon. And sold quite a bit that way. I think I want to do one for the cleaning stuff because I actually sold um, I sold full of brush for a while, which was all cleaning stuff. So I actually have those customers on a list still. I think I'm going to recontact them and and tell them about that we're carrying that stuff. So that might help. And back then, we, of course, we were selling. Oh golly, it was. Uh, powdered soap to do in the washing machine and it, it was like a 50 pound box or something. <laughs> oh everybody will be thrilled with the sheets I can imagine because that's awesome but I think having some of those um, on a card would work so that they see I'm trying to include them in all my stuff the shuffle card and also on uh, send out cards I'm trying to include pictures of the stuff that we're selling in Avon that's unusual because and I we just got a couple more too, the refre what? fabric refresheners. Oh yeah. Oh, and, then, and they got two more. For, I haven't there. tried them yet. I just got them in. They added a uh, rice thing and a uh, um, cheesy noodle thing or something. So hmm. that's good. Yeah, they add. So now we have the three food things. I didn't think we that would, the, um, would be something people would buy, too. but sure enough, people have been buying. What'd you say, Dion? I'm sorry. We have the um, hand sanitizer wipes in the um, the little to go pack and the big the, pack. The Cucina? 
<laughs> no, they're they're blue. You just wanted to say that. Yes, I they're, did. They're blue. Gucci. I don't know what brand they are. They're just hand sanitizing wipes. Oh. And there's like a, on the go pack of like ten, or oh. there's a big pack of fifty. I haven't seen it yet. Is it under the what's new? It's so no, it's in the self care. Yeah, it's in the self care on the website. Oh, okay. I'll have to look. I didn't see that one yet. That's awesome. Yeah, I was really excited We can't about see the what's new for the next campaign anymore, right? I mean, right. I'm not the only one that can't see it. No. No, you just okay. have to All look right. under what's new, and they list a lot of them under there now. And then when yeah, the campaign there's... change is over, they let you see the other what's yeah. new. I don't yeah. know what the yeah. strategy is. is they, haven't, they haven't told us why they're doing that. that. That's just the way it has been. I like doing my shopping ahead of time, so it's ready to go in the cart on the day that I want to send it in. Me too. But now I can't do that. But, but right. Actually, ladies, you can. If you look under, um, I think it's on the homepage, scroll all the way to the bottom. They've now uploaded a PDF version of the it What's still New. Doesn't, it's still not it still the, it's still the, the one. Next one. But it's yeah, like, it I can see two campaigns ahead. So we're in campaign 18 right. and I can see campaign 20 right now. But I you downloaded can't see it. 21. 21. We used that to is the one. What's New. 21. Okay, I see what you're saying. It would yeah. be 21, the, yeah. You could also you the 20 what's new under um view brochures and uh -huh. flip yeah. through it right we're just not yeah. able to see we were the able 21. to see for a while the, the way, one way ahead yeah and we're just not able yeah. to what's nice is i did do that other shuffle card just with the um the um masks and gloves and all yeah you know, yeah i did one just on that product too which is i, I like it because i like to target people so i'm a targeter <laughs> so if they're interested in a certain item i just send them that and then that way they're getting that which is basically what they're doing with our website anyways is letting you do a digital or customizing it but if somebody's going to get the whole brochure for me they'll go get the whole brochure but if they're just interested in some certain products then i can at least target just that it makes it quicker for them to shop and they're going to spend money so at least having the quick links and the carousel gets them into your brochure regardless and they can still continue to shop if they wanted to Lisa, how many cards do you think you have made up all together? Right now? Just uh, just average. 11. I think there's 11 of them or 12. Oh, okay. I, just upgraded, right. I upgraded to 100 because as soon as I get um, some houses that I want to um, advertise for real estate, they're all going to get their own cards too. So, oh, that's an awesome idea too. Yeah. So nice. if you know realtors, it's like perfect. It gives them that when you have people like that want to target a house. So I'm dealing with, mm -hmm. again, I, I do a lot of out of state people. So somebody moving here from New York, she's not right. here, but I can go look at houses, take a video, make a whole card on it and send it to her. And that, that just and do like the carousel thing with the houses. Yep. With That's pictures awesome, of the rooms and then I could do a tour. So, and then that just makes it nice. And if she doesn't like that house, I have the card done already. I don't have to delete it because I have a hundred cards upgrade $50 one time gives you a hundred and I can keep it there. The four bedroom, four bathroom house, somebody else might be interested in it and it's already done and I can send that to them. So many so. uses. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Lisa, it's when you put endless. those quick links in there, is that the link of the product like directly from your website? Yeah. Is that mm -hmm. where you're dropping in? Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, can I share? I know some of you were on my calls earlier this week, so you've heard this one already. Sorry, you know what's coming. I but haven't. I want Oh, you haven't. Okay. I wanted to tell you the, um, what happened, uh, I think it was Sunday because it, it, we weren't, we didn't do this one yet, but, um, so why I want to tell you this is because this happens all the time. And this is the reason that I love shuffle and all the tools that I use. So, you know, I've got my van with a big giant sign on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you just know what the van is when you see it. It's red and it's, <laughs> it's, it says any slipstick lady. It's, it says Avon on it really huge on the front and the sides and everything. So I met PetSmart. And when you drive in a van like that, and sometimes I forget why they're running towards me, but then I go, oh, <laughs> use it to go, oh, and then you can tell what they want and they're coming up. So this lady comes up to me um, and I roll down my window and she's so excited. <laughs> I've been wanting to find somebody local. I can't find anybody to sell me Avon. She says, do you have a book in the van? And I said, oh my God, I've got something way better. And I get my phone out and I open up the shuffle app and I said, with this, you'll have every book. 
not just the book that I might have thrown in my van. This updates, you'll have every book. I said, do you have your smartphone with you? Yes. So I said, listen, take mine. And I opened up the shuffle app. I said, put your, your first name and your phone number is all that's required. So put that in here and you can watch while I transfer it to your phone. So we did it. And then she opened her phone and she says, wow, this is great. And I said, it has all my links to my social media and everything. And uh, if you happen to run across someone who wants to sell, there's even a link for that. So there's a link for everything. So she was all happy. And um, so she gave me her first name and her phone number. So then when I got home, she actually texted me. It was, it was kind of funny. I'll tell you what she said. Um, she said, um, sorry, I was standing so close to you. I got so excited. I forgot the six foot rule. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny. I'm like, no worries. We're not big on rules over here. <laughs> you gave her your phone to touch too. Did you sanitize that afterwards? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not, I, nothing's happened to us and I'm not into all that. I haven't done any of it, any of it. So we're, we're fine so far. <laughs> but anyway, um, so when I got home, uh, what I did was, I, of course, I've told you this before, I subscribed to whitepages.com, and you can mm -hmm. do a first phone lookup. So she... Now you have her... First her phone, so then I got now her last name, her address, and her birthday. I got oh. it all. Right, so then I went back in my phone and added her last name. So if she texts me again to want to order, I'll know who it is for right away, for, for starters. Right. Then, of course, I went into sent out cards and I sent her a card and it said, um, so nice to meet you at PetSmart. And I actually sent her that picture. I call it the Brady Bunch picture, but it's like uh, me and the kid and Grammy and our four pets all on the thing. And I said, now you know why we were at PetSmart. Tee hee, you know, it was like <laughs> kind of like that. And it had some Avon things on the front, some products, and it said, um, from your Avon lady. So she, I want her to feel ownership of me right away. You think so, she wondered when she got the card, how'd she get my address? Well, either she's going to think it's nice that I go above and beyond, or she'll be yeah, creeping yeah. up by my, right, my <laughs> stealthy creepiness. One of the two. I think she'll be the most impressed because her birthday's coming up in September. So she's going to oh. get a card. Right? That's great, yeah. So I added her there, and I, when I had her in front of me, and I usually do this, I said to her, um, you know, I can send you a, a book in the mail every campaign if you like. I usually offer that, and most people do want that. She said, no, I don't want that. So I didn't add her to campaign mailer, but that is something that I usually do do, is add her to campaign mailer at the same time I'm doing sent out cards. And then I looked for her on Facebook. She didn't have to be on there, but... It's, it's using all of those tools together that's going to make that customer, I think, feel like she's getting service above and beyond from me. Do okay. all your people get campaign um, books every campaign or just when they placed orders? No, I give them books every campaign. Every campaign, okay. Yeah. And no, actually, I don't think you can go by whether they're ordering or not because the biggest thing I found from Campaign Mailer wasn't that that person necessarily ordered, but they gave their book to somebody else. Oh. So I'm actually getting new customers and new business from the other people. Right. So yeah. that, that seems to be it. The other new customer I got lately, um, it was actually, and I said this before too, but when you, um, on, for Avon representatives, I know a lot of you are Avon representatives, um, you can put your picture, and I'm sure this is true with most companies, you can put your picture and a little writing about yourself oh. on your profile and it mm -hmm. shows. So when a customer goes on Avon's website and, and gets to choose, it says, you can pay less money if you connect with a representative. Here's a list of choices. And I'm getting chosen because I have my actual face with an actual smile and you wouldn't believe how many people either didn't put anything and there's a stick figure there or they put a flower or something. And I think the customers want to feel a connection with you. Mm -hmm. so people, people in that's general, true. they know me before I've met them. And that's what I want. I want stuff that I put out to make them feel like they know me because customers buy from people they know, like, and trust. Even okay. if they perceive that they, they know you, they don't necessarily have to know you that well. You know, I mean, they would rather buy from someone that they see their face than the stick figure that the company put there as a placeholder. 
So okay. maybe go in and fix that. But this lady said to me, um, she, she was ordering from a representative that goes to church with her, and the girl kept having excuses why she didn't have her stuff. And it wasn't back order excuses. It was, I forgot your bag at home, or I forgot to place the order, or all that kind of stuff. And she sure. said, I'm embarrassed. And she said, she said she's embarrassed, but she said, I don't understand why she's not embarrassed because we're still at church together. And she looks at me and I, if it was me, I would be wicked embarrassed. She said, but I want to make sure I get my stuff. So she yeah. said, believe me, you'll get your stuff. If you were from me, you'll get your stuff. I said, I've done this for 30 something years. I can get you your stuff. <laughs> so um, she's all happy. And matter of fact, her first order, she got some customers in her office to order too. And her first order was over 100 because she put two people together and I had it shipped right to her. And um, the reason I'm telling you this whole thing is sometimes, like, I'm probably not going to earn on that order because there was a mistake and it was, she, I had her read me the numbers. So I know it was actually her mistake, but it doesn't matter. I fixed the problem as if it was my mistake. Mm -hmm. I shipped her what she meant to buy and ate it. And I shipped it and paid the shipping and had it shipped right away because I know the future business is worth it. Right. So yep. when I have a customer that has a problem, I just want them to be so happy to have dealt Amazing. with me that they not only buy more from me down the road, but they tell their friends. And that same customer, I said to make up for my mistake, which I already knew wasn't my mistake, I sent her two brownies. And she <laughs> texted me all happy about the brownie. Very She's nice. never gotten service like that before ever. And what did that cost me? $3.98 or something. I couldn't have drove and delivered for that. And I mean, and that's a great idea too. Stuff. When it comes to customer service, and if you have customers, you want to spoil them. And like you guys, we've talked about doing birthday cards and recognition cards for your team, birthday cards, anniversary cards. You, know, you could do all that. You could do a personalized card just for a customer. You can literally put all their favorites together for their birthday and be like, look, this is your, your birthday card. You know, like this is all your favorite products, you know, go shopping. And when you, you know, order what you want and when I deliver it or whatever, I, you'll get a gift card for such and such amount. Meaning like you can't really maybe give them the discount up front on it if you can't, but you can always, you know, kind of reimburse them and do something fun just for their birthday or just in general. How about a shuffle card where it's the birthday and then you go get some pictures of their kids or grandkids and put them in the carousel, except no links with it. There's just pictures. Mm -hmm. So they can just yep. see the pictures because a lot of people post a lot of great pictures like Mona Vaughn. I always see her putting lots of great pictures. She'd probably be thrilled to get a shuffle card with all those pictures she could just look at whenever she wanted to. Mm-hmm. But I yeah, think but then you could be really, really suave cool. and put one of those, what are those, um, the fun videos That's you put cool. together where you put the head on the body and it dances around and makes stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 I can't I think of it. Is it refaced? Yeah. Refaced the app, I think. Yeah. That would be yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah there's so I think there's lots of, oh, and like the, uh, for Christmas, for a Christmas card, they have that one Elf Yourself. Isn't that from Stable? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be, and you could do it for someone else too because I do that all the time and put bib on it <laughs> but yep yeah, send them a card like that with their little face on some kind of character dancing around I mean I think they get a kick out of it I mean like the possibilities are endless and they would keep that card so you can tell them if you want to keep this card for a while you can just earmark it like put it on your desk you know on the front tell them how to save it show all their friends and keep it for like a month or something you know and then you know, before you redo it I think it's really funny that it, it makes us, it, just using Shuffle, just using it, makes us look like we're like technology people. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm like really not, <laughs> but it gives the appearance that I am and it didn't have to take much. So even when I was making the one card because I didn't talk to Scola and get all the bells and whistles, even when I had just the one card that I did on the fly on my phone just the once and I used that for a long time, even then people thought it just gave the appearance of being somebody that's really into technology when it wasn't. I'm, I, <laughs> when I made that first card, I sat there every single step and just kept hitting the, the question mark, which showed the little video on how to do it. That's how I did it. 
that's that's are all you I'm... are you sharing the screen and showing us something fantastic <laughs> for me yeah what should i show i don't what know should I show us the resume I, I didn't make one yet but that's i think that's a really good idea yeah, yeah a resume, resume is a good idea. one yeah because then if you're at a matter of fact if you're at like a job fair or something all you'd have to do is bring it up on your card and, and send oh. it. Right. Um, you say, I have my resume all with all my links and everything. Let me just share it with you right here. And I bet you'll be the only one to do that where everybody else is walking around with a piece of paper handing them out. And you'll, me, you'll set yourself apart by having your resume like that. Yeah, I, and a I picture on your resume. I didn't do the resume one right off because I don't intend to get employed. <laughs> oh, well, I think I'm following a drunk That, that would be fun to take to a job fair just Wouldn't to it? show everybody how cool they could be using this to go apply for these jobs. <laughs> yeah, you could have hey, a booth. While they're looking shuffle. for work, they yeah. can make money from shuffle. That's true. And yours would have a picture on it. Oh, you could have a bunch of stuff on that, I would think. I like I was thinking if I had to do a resume right now, what would I want on there? And I I would want like pictures of me getting awards or something. I don't know, because I or, or the press, because I've gotten some magazine, like I was on a magazine cover and stuff like that. I could do scans of stuff. That'd be a good one. And a lot of us have, even if it's an article and not a cover. You can uh, take pictures of that and, and post it on social media or post it. Matter of fact, um, I do that when I get, even, e even if I wrote it, I take a scan of the article and I pass it out like, um, oh, look, it was in whatever uh, publication. I do that whenever I'm in anything or on something. I think I would put that in a resume. Well, actually, it, I think LinkedIn is a good way to that would be what I would put on my resume is the stuff that I put on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So it just would be easier because on a shuffle card, it would have, you could have all the links for your stuff and it would be, it make more sense, I think, when you go through it. Don't you? Mm -hmm. like, like one of the things on LinkedIn is um, community service. And what I've got on there is when I did the um, uh, breast cancer walks, I put, I put, wrote down and kept a record of how much I raised each year. So I have the t running total of how much I raised. By the way, th so, th go ahead. <laughs> on, on LinkedIn, will one company have a problem if you list another company there alongside theirs? Avon has, is the only one that I know that- Avon is, does have a problem with that, okay. Don't advertise more than one company together. They haven't said you can't do it on LinkedIn, though. That's so why I, I was have, wondering. I have all of my stuff on LinkedIn. That's the only place that I have it all. And they haven't said yeah. anything about that one? No. Actually, okay. they've never said to me anything about the rest of them. The only time they've ever said anything to me was um, I used to have the link for sent out cards in my email signature along with yes. Avon. And they asked me to take that off. So I did, and th this this is a rule I want I want you all to take to heart. Okay, this rule applies not just to Avon but any company that would tell you to change something. The when I got a message from Avon, they said the message said you can't do send out cards anymore, and I wrote back and I said, tell me specifically what you mean and what I need to do to be in compliance. That's all I said. I didn't have a fit and say, oh my God, they're trying to make me quit. Center. I didn't say anything. I said, tell me specifically what I need to do to be in compliance. They okay. said, you need to take the link off your email signature. So they didn't mean that I had to quit Center out carton. <laughs> they didn't mean that at all. They, they just wrote it in a way that made me think that's what they meant. Uh, but the reality was they just wanted that one line deleted off my signature block. That's all. <laughs> So make and sure that was your own personal email that they wanted to offer? Personal, yes, my oh, own personal okay. email. So okay. um, how I solve that now is instead of, uh, I don't put Avon on there anymore, it says uh, leader in direct sales. And I am okay. a leader in direct sales. So that's that solved that for me. Then I can put whatever else I want on there. And, and what Scola does is she has a shuffle card that's like all encompassing, but when you click on her face, 
you go to her Avon page, but it doesn't say Avon on it. Right, so that she that works. That works. But Incognito. Yeah. <laughs> but Avon's actually the only one that has that stipulation that I've run across. So, and you and know, actually, they may not anymore. even have it anymore. It's all oh, right. That was that was before LG. So they may may or may not. Who knows? But just well, a, after LG point. that they actually called me. Oh, okay. An actual phone call on it. Yeah. So, but you can still be leader in direct sales. Yeah, and okay. that's, yeah, I think, um, especially if you write articles or if you're in, um, you know, gotten press in any way, all someone would have to do is Google search you and they'd find out what company you're with or see you in your van. You know what I mean? I mean, there's so <laughs> many ways to find out what you do, hopefully, because if you get yourself out there, people do find out what you do. Mm -hmm. And I do still tell, now on my Facebook page, I stopped putting that, I put um, leader in direct sales as my title. Entrepreneur, leader in direct sales. I didn't, it doesn't say my title in Avon anymore, but I still say stuff about it. So people still know I'm in, you know what I mean? I still say, I got a trip from them or something, or I'm going to a meeting with them or something like that, or I like a new product. I still talk about that. It's just, I just not on your bio or... Right. Okay. Right. Cool. Yeah, when you use the shuffle card for the link in your bio on Instagram, especially, that's the only one that I'm, you know, most particular about making sure that it didn't just say, because that's the one they were like, oh, you have Avon with all these on there. And I also had it coming up with the lead capture that asked if they were interested in, you know, it, and so I took that off and just put beauty. <laughs> Because it could be yeah. anything, you know, it doesn't have to be Avon for beauty. I mean, it could be something in hemp works. So uh, in that way, you know, everything we do is based upon a conversation. So what's nice about Shuffle is when you're having a conversation with somebody, you know what card you want to send them. And I, th I think to get found in Google, you just have to um, make sure you're doing things like when you do an Avon video and put it up on your YouTube channel, that helps your being able to get found when your name and Avon or your name and Hempworks or whatever it is, the connection you want to make, the more times it's out in the internet somewhere, the more apt to when somebody Google searches, you'll find it. So have you ever Googled searched yourself? I have. I have. I do it all the time. Just yeah, your me name. Too. Me too. Do you well, guys Google you know your name? I wasn't doing that until I kept getting recruits from that. I get recruits yeah. from that and I'm thinking, I wonder what they're saying. That, that kind of scared me a little bit, but usually it was what comes up on mine is like articles I've written, which any of us can do, you know, articles I've written or press that I've gotten, which I've hardly ever gotten press that I didn't create myself. Like I sent into them, you know what I mean? I sent a press release into them or I offered to write an article for them. Most of it was generated by something I did, mm. so. I think now it's my, my thing is I'm trying to find ways to make sure I'm putting the shuffle link or the shuffle QR code in as many things as I can, like on my welcome letter, on my welcome card series, on my van. I'm trying to find ways to make sure I'm getting them out there so that I'm getting the most views that I can. And that, cause then I can change the card as much as I want. Those, th those links are still all good. They, the link doesn't change if you keep it on the same card. You know what I mean? So the more views I get, the more business I'll get. It's the same, more eyes see it, the more. Um, can, Lisa, can I ask a question? Lisa W. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the other day when I asked you about my card and you were so gracious to look at it for me, thank you. Um, you said something about make sure I have the banner. I can't find that. I have my phone right now and I can't, I don't know where oh, to go to put let, that. Let me, let me share screen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's the opportunity. Thank <laughs> you. That was almost as much fun as Cucina. <laughs> See, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Cucina. I, why do I love that so much? <laughs> okay. Forbidden. Way. That didn't that didn't dawn on me right off, but as soon as I realized, yes, I'm like, oh, this is the word for me. 
You know when you said to yourself, when I'm I'm going to be one of those dirty old ladies down the road? <laughs> and here <There>. we are. <laughs> Who is that singer that does that coochie coochie? Wasn't that? Oh, 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 oh. Charo. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my, my dad most, loves her. <laughs> my most viewed card is here. I'm going to do edit so I can show you where you turn that on. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. I, I'll, uh, I could do, I, I don't have to change anything to show you this, but this is where you change the color scheme. And here, it's, so it's step two. On the laptop is the easiest. So you may oh. want to go on the laptop for that. You don't okay. have a, you don't have a laptop or a computer? Oh, I'm looking at the laptop now. Oh, okay. Um, it, well, I, I think it's just not in steps on the phone, but okay. maybe it's, it's on step two. And if you scroll down, you see the things at the here, shuffle, add banner. Okay. The default is, is this. It takes it away. Okay. So you, every time you make a card, you want to turn it on. Okay. And, Thank you. Yeah. And, and, to me, um, if you if you guys are listening to this or you're on here or you're listening to the replay, um, make sure you do turn it on because you'd be surprised it adds up pretty quick. And sign up to be an affiliate and it's free because you don't get paid unless you signed up to be an affiliate. And um, when you first sign up, you can be an affiliate right in the beginning. Uh, but if you didn't do that, you can go back in and sign up to be an affiliate and there's not a charge for that. But if you turn that banner on on every card, you'd be shocked how many people that you give it to that you didn't know they did a business or you didn't know they knew somebody who did a business and the money adds up pretty quick. And there's so many people um, that I'm getting paid on that I have no idea who they are or where they're from <laughs> and I'm still getting my 80 cents or what it is. And it doesn't sound like that would be a lot of money, but it adds up. It adds up. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting on average, it's, it's hundreds of dollars a month. That's not bad. That's yeah, not that's bad. bad. And that's um, not for, I'm not spending money in to this, like I do mm -hmm. some other things. This is so, it's actually very um, overhead. There isn't really any. The $10 that you're paying, mine got covered right away because I had people that wanted to do it right off. And now I'm just bringing money in without an expense to it because I don't mail stuff out for this. I don't, we just do this meeting. So really it's just my time mm -hmm. and we do the team page. So this has been an awesome with no overhead. So make sure you turn the banner on on all your cards. I haven't had anybody complain about um, that being an ad there either. So it's not like they're saying something about that. I just knocked this off again. Oh. I hate them when I do that. <laughs> it's because my desk is right Sorry, here. Sorry, I'm fast and really late. <laughs> Darn it. Um, hi, Rebecca. Thanks for popping on. Hi. Yeah, I had, I've i had so much stuff going on the past couple weeks. I just ain't even really had time to get on my computer at all. Oh, well, I'm glad you jumped on here. We're almost done, though, but <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> I'll catch a replay. Good to see your face, though. How do you like my awesome hairdo today? <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Isn't it? Isn't it uh, <laughs> something? <laughs> I just jumped out the shower and threw something on mine. Well, see this? Yeah, that's how I just get it wet and, and crinkle it up. I've got um, hairdresser this afternoon because uh, we're not we're not jumping off that train. <laughs> I'm getting an enhancement. That's what I call it. I don't call it a dye job. I call it an enhancement. I have a color enhancement. Yeah. So, yay! yay. I was considering getting mine colored, but then I was like, no, because then I'll have to keep on getting it colored, and it's been gray for like four years. So you know, hey. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I, what did it for me is I was 42 when the kid was born. And, you know, I adopted. I brought him home from the hospital, though. But um, it was during that first week, of course, I had no sleep. I had nothing that I needed because it was my cousin I adopted from. And I, I wasn't sure they were going to be able to go through with it. So I didn't buy a whole bunch of stuff ahead. 
and then I had nothing really. I had the car seat and that's it. So I went down to Baby Depot and I, of course, I get out my credit card and I'm like, yeehaw. So I had a whole cart full of stuff and bless her little pea picking heart, the cashier said to me, this is your first grandchild, isn't it? <laughs> I almost snatched the hair off her head. It was awful. So I got in the car and I called up my hairdresser. I said, Jeanette, you need to color my hair. <laughs> and, and, and I've been coloring it ever since because that, that was horrible. I'm like, first grandchild, first grandchild. I said that all the way home. First grandchild. Yeah, that, that was horrible. So that, that's when it started. I have had a full head of gray hair since I was 25. So I dyed it and dyed it and dyed it. And then when I had my first grandbaby, I said, I'm not dying it no more. <laughs> and now I have three. <laughs> yeah, I got a late go at it. That's the problem. <laughs> mm -mm. Ours is a hereditary thing. So there's really nothing I could do about it. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> I, you know what I was doing before? I have young gray hair. I was doing perms. Remember, Janet remembers the perms. I remember. <laughs> And remember the I Sally, was doing perms too. The Sally gonna, Jesse Raphael glasses. I'm going to find that picture. <laughs> I've got it here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, those were the days, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been a it's been a long a long road. <laughs> I think it's funny when some people. I had somebody yesterday. She wouldn't. The the contest I put up on my page was a free book but you had to put your selfie and she actually put a picture of her hair. She wouldn't put a picture of her face because she said she doesn't like pictures of herself. I think she wrongly thinks we all like pictures of ourselves. <laughs> I don't necessarily like pictures of myself, but I, I don't see the other choice here. You know what I mean? Especially if you're in business, the customer wants to feel like they know you. They don't necessarily care if you're a model. They just want to feel like they know you. So I think putting your picture out is kind of necessary. <laughs> and I looked on her Facebook page and she's only got dogs and stuff. Yeah, Skull is gonna stop the recording. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh, I'll say the thing. Okay, hold on. Um, if you're, <laughs> you're on the call, uh, if you're on live and you are um, not in it using the shuffle app already make sure you contact the person that sent you to this meeting if you're watching the replay uh go back to the person that sent you to this meeting or contact lisa scola she can help you thank you it is definitely a big help <laughs>